How putting your toddler in front of the TV hurts them. If you are addicted on following live sports of NFL or latest Netflix drama but not on your Vision Pro, you might need to be caution watching them with your toddler. Exposing babies and toddlers to television or video viewing may lead to atypical sensory behaviors, according to research from Drexel University. These behaviors include disengagement, seeking intense stimulation, and being overwhelmed by sensations like loud sounds or bright lights. The study analyzed data from over 1,400 children and found that greater TV viewing by the age of two was associated with the development of atypical sensory processing behaviors. Each additional hour of daily screen time at 18 and 24 months was linked to increased odds of high sensory behaviors at 33 months. These findings have implications for conditions like ADHD and autism, as atypical sensory processing is common in these populations. The American Academy of Pediatrics advises against screen time for babies under 18 to 24 months, and recommends limitations for children aged 2 to 5 years. Reducing screen time and incorporating sensory processing practices may be beneficial for toddlers displaying atypical sensory behaviors. How much screen time do you allow on your toddlers? On next episode, new clues to toddlers, terrible twos.